The first of the two eliminators matched Ringo Rigby and black belt Chris Adams, both of them incidentally judo black belts. It's ten three-minute rounds. We join it early in round two. No score so far. The commentator, of course, Kent Walton. I first saw him in July of this year, actually, and I thought it was earlier than that, but... Uh... So Chris Adams started judo at nine years old. He's been 14 years at it. And his opponent, Rigby, started at 12 years old. Start young in this judo business, don't they? The question is how they turn to the Lord Mount Evans rules pro wrestling is the trick, and it looks as though both of these men have done it pretty well. Though so after the first fall, we should see something different here because I think they revert to judo from then on. Half a minute to go, round two. It's Chris Adams with the knee pads there. Ten seconds, full Nelson, switch quick with Chris Adams. Very, very quick indeed. And we really didn't know what that was coming from. Right on the bell, round two. Let's have a look at Chris Adams, Chris Blackbelt Adams from Warwick, 12 stone three, giving away about uh, 11 pounds here this afternoon. He just about made the Olympic judo squad, won the British titles twice, and lost one at middleweight. So he's had fair good, pretty good credits behind him before turning pro wrestling. Round three, eight rounds to go. No score, Rigby of Birmingham versus Adams of Warwick. Adams with the long pants and knee pads wrestling barefoot. Oh, won't be popular if he continues that. Oh, straight in the top row, straight over the top row. I think he's got away with it. He wouldn't have been back in the ring yet if he hadn't. Very lucky that. That is a public warning for sure. If Rigby's going to turn out to be that sort. First public warning has been issued to Ringo Rigby. I can't imagine he'll keep very long to that sort of treatment. His opponent when he's on the deck. Yes, and actually took his own beautiful shoulders and a folding press beautifully done by Chris Adams and the first fall to Adams in just one minute, 20 seconds of round three. And your master of ceremonies for this afternoon's program, Mark Green. First fall. In the third round, with a hooking double leg Nelson and folding press to Chris Adams. The contestants, the contestants will now continue in judo outfit, and the one to gain the first three throws onto the back will be the winner. So on go the judo outfits, and no doubt the black belts will follow. Yes, seconds waiting with the black belts. Most unusual this, especially in a tournament of this style, but nevertheless, very interesting.
no one, there'll be no runs, and we're all trying to get from um, Mark Green, our master of ceremonies, exactly what is happening now. No runs, the first three throws, apparently, decides the winner here. But what interests me, of course, is the fact that Chris Adams is already leading by one fall. First row to Rigby. And oh, he has two more and three more. Oh, so it didn't last long, whatever he was. The man who got the first throw got the first three throws as well, extremely fast. Rigby a bit ang angry with himself. So not only at judo, but also at pro wrestling. Chris Adams turned out to be the winner by one fall and three throws to nil.